All right, yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Q. I'm back again with another video for you guys. If you're new here, first thing I'm gonna need you to do is hit that subscribe button for me because I know a lot of you aren't even subscribed. I mean, look at this. And then also, if you wanna stay in contact with me and just follow up with what I'm doing, follow me on social media at Quentin Bobbitt underscore on Instagram right now. Everything else is just at Quentin Bobbitt. All the links are down in the description below. And before we get started, if you guys do want to support the channel in any way, I got my link to my BeatStars down in the description below, which will have all my sound kits available. So if you like any of the sounds in this video that you hear, you know where to go. And also that BeatStars is not going to be up for that much longer. It should be about till the end of the month because I just canceled my subscription and I'm going to just be starting up my own store very soon. But anyways, in today's video, what we're going to be doing is going over how to make a little Uzi Vert type beat, something virtual inspired, kind of like those like Rage type beats if you've been hearing about them recently. It's basically sounds that are super EDM inspired, and that's what we're going to be doing today and just making it geared towards little Uzi Vert. Let's get into this video. All right, so I got FL pulled up right here, and I have Serum open, and then I also have this patch open called Synth Gated. And like I said, since we're going for sounds that are inspired by like EDM music, so it's going to be super like synthy sounding. But if you do it right, you can make it sound virtual. And I'm telling you, these beats are super fire for like Uzi and stuff like that. The first thing I'm going to do is just find a super simple chord progression. All right, yeah, I like that. So I'm going to record it and just lay it down. That's all we need for that. And I'm going to hit control Q, quantize everything, and then shift D to make sure they are all the same length. Then if it is on time, let's see. Is I'm going to duplicate that over four bars. Cool. And then let's see if we can bring some bass notes down so it sounds good. That, so all the bass notes down. I'm also going to bring these middle notes up an octave really fill out the melody all right yes yeah, so i'm liking how that sounds so next thing i'm gonna do i routed it to the mixer track one and we're gonna eq out some of the sounds that i don't like i'm gonna be adding this plugin called abbey roads vinyl by waves just to give it kind of that retro feel and I'm just turning it down a little bit. Well, and the next thing I'm going to do is just open up another patch of serum. And then I'm going to be looking for a bass this time. Yeah, this should sound good, so I'm going to just copy the bass notes. Control L. Got it. I like how that sounds, so now I'm gonna just bring it to a mixer track. I'm gonna EQ it a little bit. I'm gonna add a fruity fast distortion to it. Cool, and then we're gonna bring up another instance of Serum and just see if we can stack some more on top of that melody. I'm gonna see if I can find something a little less like island sounding. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is gonna be a little bit weird. What I'm gonna do is I have this lead right here. Sounds like that, pretty basic like saw lead. And what I'm gonna do is bring it into the pattern and I'm gonna make a note at C and I'm gonna make it eight bars long. And then what we're gonna do here is solo it out Bring it to a mixer track. We'll go to four for now. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to hit record and then hit alt R. And what this is going to do is record it as a wave. Now what we're going to do here is double click the audio file and pull this up. And then we're going to drag this piece in just like that. And basically what we're going to do here is make it a one shot basically. So I'm going to adjust the envelope. It only plays for as long as the note is played. And we basically have a really long one shot. And what I'm going to do is basically the same exact thing. We're going to go into we're going to go into the piano roll. And we're going to play a note at C, just turn it up a little bit. We're going to play it with everything. 
And then now what I'm going to do is play around with some slide notes. So I'm going to hit S on my keyboard, and I'm just going to have this note slide up and down just in certain spots that I want it to. So what I'm actually going to do is duplicate these all over for eight bars. And instead of it being like this, we're going to have this come way over here. Be like that. And then get it over. So now what we're going to do is just arrange this. So what I usually do is, is um, since I have everything routed to the mix track, what I'll do is just all the mix tracks that are active that have sound going to them, I'm going to arm them for recording. Then I just hit Alt R on my keyboard. And this just renders them out just to wave files just so you can mess with them a little better. Boom. So now we got all these waves. I'm going to drag them out here and everything should sound normal. And we can just route this to any mixture track. All right, so now I'm gonna just arrange this how I would like it. So I'm duplicated it over a bunch of times. And basically after the first eight bars, I'm gonna just drop out that lead. And then at the end of the loop, I'm gonna have the stems in it just cause I like uh, anyone using my loops just to be able to have a little more creativity. All you do to put the stems in there is you just, just go like this. Just have each sound play by itself. And then I hit Control Shift R on my keyboard to render that out as a wave in MP3. And I'll just pull up a new FL Studio session to do the drums. All right, so I got the loop pulled up and I have it cut up just so it's the stems. And what I'm going to do is just duplicate it over and kind of arrange it a little bit. I know in the intro, I'm going to want to have, uh, probably have the intro have every sound. And then we'll just cut the bass out and that lead. And then for the next eight bars, the lead will come back in. And then we'll decide to do something later after that. But what I'm going to do here is just drag a pattern in, make it eight bars long. Have that play over twice. And we're just going to start doing some drums. I'm actually just going to loop it for this long and we'll start with the clap. I will be using my kit, which is called Q Essentials Volume 1. Just get this over twice for one section. Get a snare going. Open that going. Normalize this and I'm just bringing the out knob up. That's pretty much it for percussion right there. I think next thing I'm gonna do is just work on an 808. I'm kind of feeling spins with this just because you can either do like a spins 808 or like like a Zay 808 kind of like this. I'm gonna try with a spins person just to see how that sounds, but we might switch it up. What we're going to do with this 808 is just adjust the envelope settings just so it only plays for as long as the note is. And then we are just going to adjust some of the notes to add and build tension.
Cool, so we might do an 808 switch, but for now I actually like that. So now I'm just gonna arrange the beat. So I'm gonna delete this pattern out, right click, split by channel. And for the initial drop, we're gonna have everything come in. And then the only thing I'm gonna add is go to my kit and there is this riser in there called timed. Just drag that right in the beginning of the drop. Track it out and turn it up a little bit. Throw out all these sounds to the mix track as well. Add a new pattern for the kick. Just drag it in just so when we bring that lead in, we have a little something that changes up. Cool. And then, so when the hook starts, all we're going to do here is drag this piece in. So it's going to be super bare and minimum just so when the artist comes in, he can do a lot over it. I'm going to make this unique and I'm going to bring it down an octave. Cool, and then the second half of the verse, we'll have the kick come back in. And we just duplicate this over twice, and that is the entire finished beat. All right, yeah guys, so you know the deal. That is the end of the video. I'm gonna play the finished beat at the very end of the video. But if you guys did learn anything or enjoy the video at all, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. I'm gonna try and do them more and more consistently. I'm also moving to LA literally in two days. So there's gonna be a lot more content coming very, very soon and it should be going way, way up. You already know the deal, everything you need to know, links are down in the description below. All my social medias, my drum kits, everything should be down there and any more information that you might need to know. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces.